In this demo, I want to show you how we can go about blending data from salesforce.com with data from SAP using Ultrex and the Ultrex connector for SAP. Um, now, the example I put together is a little bit simplistic, but I think it will give you a, a, a good sense of what is possible uh, by combining these different technologies and hopefully uh, give you some better ideas. So, before I walk you through uh, my scenario, let me just kick off the workflow here. Um, we have, within Salesforce, our, all our core CRM data and within SAP, in my case, uh, SAP ECC as an example, we have uh, a lot of our sort of financial information, okay? And from a, an opportunity manager perspective, I want to better understand where we have opportunities uh, that we're currently working on for which uh, the customer we're working with may not have sufficient credit limit. So that's kind of the, 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 the scenario uh, I'll, I'll walk you through just, just now. Um, so as a starting point, I've uh, made use of uh, the, 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 the functionality available in Ultrix is standard uh, to extract data from Salesforce and uh, I've set up two uh, input uh, objects here. One uh, to extract data from the salesforce.com opportunity and you can see on the left hand side here I'm just selecting the minimum amount of data. Uh, key things I need will be a, a account ID, um, the name of the opportunity, the amount, uh, the expected revenue and so on and so forth. Also, I've just put a little uh, select on here, so I, I'm only bringing in opportunities that are not in a closed status at this point in time. Um, I'm also going to extract data specifically from the uh, account object in salesforce.com. The reason I need this is the opportunity itself. When you extract data from that, uh, it provides you with kind of the GUID or the internal ID, and it's not sufficient for us to, it's not really human readable, so I need to extract data uh, from the account object as well as the opportunity object here and then uh, join them using standard tools so that I can map one to the other and as a result uh, get a level of information which is interesting and, and meaningful to me. Okay, So that's quite easy uh, to set up on the Salesforce uh, side of things. If I scroll down the screen a little bit here then we have our extract from SAP. I'm using a connection to the SAP ECC system, uh, making use of our Ultrix connector for SAP. And you can see all the various tools we have available at the top of the screen here. Uh, I'm using the table tool uh, in both cases. And I'm going to be taking data uh, from one, uh, the main customer master uh, table, which is called KMA1 up here. And secondly, I'm going to be extracting data from the KNKK table, which is uh, where the credit uh, master record data is stored for that particular customer. Okay, so in both uh, for both connectors, I've extracted the, the, the main fields I'm interested in. Um, given that I'm going to do a check a little while uh, against the credit limit for this particular customer, um, I've pulled out the credit limit details. I'm also pulling out the key customer number details here. Um, in, in truth, I could have probably bypassed uh, the extract from the KNA1 table, um, but if I want to get uh, things such as the name being, being visible to me uh, against that particular account, then I need to uh, extract data from both the KNA1 and the KNKK table. Okay, and then I use the join tool here just to uh, merge that data together uh, based upon the customer number uh, in both in both tables. Okay, and that gives me an output uh, that looks something like this at this stage. Okay, I then <coughs> merge the data from Salesforce and the data from SAP and again I'm just using the join tool here and um, within the uh, Salesforce system there's a field called account number which I'll show you in just a second and this, the, this is the uh, internal number or the number that represents our custom number in the uh, SAP system. So I've done a, a join on those particular fields here. If I just click into my Salesforce system, just one second, and I'll show you the account name for this particular customer, I'm picking up this account number here, 3023, okay, um, from the, the Salesforce extract. And that is the same, and this is the credit management display of that same customer in the uh, backend ECC system. All right, so that's why I'm using those uh, those fields to uh, to pull data. Um, once I've done that, uh, that data has been narrowed a little bit down. Okay, so I get a list of the all the opportunities uh, that have uh, credit data associated with them, 
uh, the amount of the opportunity derived from the Salesforce system and the customer credit limit coming from the SAP system. Okay. Um, I'll just go through a little further. I've used a simple little formula here uh, just to check um, the, whether the customer credit limit is greater than the opportunity amount. And if so, I'm creating an output field called credit limit breach. Um, so if the, um, the credit limit is greater than the opportunity amount, then I'm going to return a value of good. Otherwise, this value here, deal value, exceeded credit limit. And then finally up here, I'm using a credit limit good. Um, so if the value is good, then I create one stream of data. And if uh, the uh, credit limit is not as good as the deal value, then I create another uh, output value here. So that's basically it. It's really quite simple. Um, if I just click on here one second and we'll look at my barn store. So this is a piece of data I showed you just a second ago in Salesforce. We can see this is flagged as good, which is great. And if I come back to my opportunity for barn store, we can see here this is the amount of the uh, the value of the opportunity and if I come to my SAP system where have you gone we can see that I have a credit limit of uh, over a million dollars so the output here is correct so a very simple example um, with the tools and the work well are almost invisible to you but I, I hope it's given you some good ideas for how you could possibly blend data from Salesforce and data with SAP using both Alteryx and the Alteryx connector for SAP. Thanks.